Greetings, viewers. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've done any redstone kind of videos, but I have some more stuff planned, and that'll be better than this one, even. So, uh, to start off, this is kind of a... Hmm, it's like a better progression system, I suppose, for vanilla Minecraft. Uh, yeah. And so, what it basically is is where uh <laughs> yeah when you try and craft a wooden pickaxe it just gives you the items back for it and it's uh because a wooden pickaxe is of no use in this so to mine stone since you can't make a wooden pickaxe uh to be able to actually collect the stone you have to well, let's see, since you can't build the iron pickaxe and you're in survival, to be able to collect the stone, you're going to have to lure creepers over to it so that it explodes. Oh, I don't too. And you'll have to do that a couple times until you have enough for a stone pickaxe, which you'll be, uh, it'll take you quite a while, I'm assuming. Like at least two nights, I'd guess. Uh, yeah, uh, I was actually inspired to do this because in 1.7 I would play uh, adventure mode hardcore survival, which is basically put yourself in adventure mode and try and survive. And but the thing is with that, once you got three blocks of wood, by then you can make your wooden axe and cut down as many trees as you want, and you'd have. You had to have uh, creepers blow up the trees, of course, er, to be able to get that. Okay, so now that I have enough stone, uh, I would be able to make a pickaxe. So, yeah. Now, as soon as I pick up a pickaxe, you might have seen uh, the scoreboard on the side. I'll have to remove that before I, or I guess, since this is just a schematic. It, it won't have that. Anyway, it as soon as I got a stone pickaxe, it uh, gave me a new one with one less damage. So as soon as it detects that I have a pickaxe with zero damage, that's when it gives me this new one. Anyway, this new one uh, only breaks stone-based um, stuff. Stone stone-based tool uh, blocks are lower, so like dirt and stuff. Uh, and I can get coal and lapis as well, but I can't mine iron or gold or any of these. Oh, why is coal there? That's supposed to be nether quartz ore. But, oh yeah, that's kind of an interesting thing when you're... Anyway, uh, rambling. <laughs> it's like one o'clock. Um, the reason for this is because I have a... Thing that's testing for whenever a uh, pick is in your uh, main slot and it automatically puts you in adventure mode like right now I'm in adventure mode but you can't tell because this uh, pickaxe uh, as you can see it has three tags those tags are the ha hide flags uh, the lore and also what items it can break it can break all blocks except for uh, pretty much these in this area, and that's supposed to be another quartz ore. So, uh, so to be able to get iron, you're gonna have to do the same thing. By now, you might be able to have TNT uh, in your world. But yeah, you'd have to get the iron, craft uh, thing, and then uh, craft a uh, furnace and, and smelt it. But by then, you'd get Oops. Ah! No, 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 no! Dang it. Okay. <laughs> By then, you'd have your uh, iron pickaxe. Yes. Iron pickaxe. And you can also craft the gold pickaxe, and gold pickaxe is the same as stone, I believe. Except it can't, it's actually less than stone, because it can't craft, or it can't break the lapis. So. 
Gold is really only good for speed going through. It, it, nobody will really craft a gold pickaxe, but if they did, it's the same as stone. No, it's less than stone. Anyway, once you get iron, that's <laughs> that's when you can uh, craft, or that's when you can mine iron. So you can get as much iron as you want. And you can also get gold, and you can get redstone, and you can get nether quartz. Um, and you can get emeralds and emerald blocks, but you can't get diamonds because you still <laughs> need to. By then, you definitely have TNT, which will have a which you'll be be able to contain a bit better. So it would be, uh, and you can also get these items from uh, dungeons and such stuff. But yeah, you can lead creepers to it and things like that. So that once you finally are able to collect diamonds, uh, that's I guess that's kind of the goal of the game. Is it's just a slower, uh, in my eyes, uh, more challenging, uh, better difficulty approach for normal vanilla Minecraft, and it is in the snapshot. So there's some like lighting bugs I've seen, and uh, I don't know. Anyway. Um, I've made this for limited engagement podcasts, um, weekly challenge, sorry, community challenge, and I'll, in the description I'll have a world with this schematic, uh, hold on, let me go into game mode one. A schematic that I'll have all the command blocks in here, which will add all the objectives um, and also start this timer automatically because I'm going to have an uh, item spawned on top of a pressure plate. The item will despawn and uh, all the objectives will be added automatically as well as the clock started automatically. So, yeah. Uh, I don't really, if you want to, oh shoot, I just broke one of the, no, 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 I didn't, that was there, and then, yeah, okay, <laughs> so if you want this, uh, the schematic and a world with the schematic already loaded onto it, and if you want to check it out, you can just go into game mode one, and, uh, yeah, check it out, and uh, if you don't like the sort of map in a box things, that's fine. It was just something I kind of wanted to move the uh, adventure mode survival over to 1.8, and this is the way I did it. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Poor cow.